DNS, the domain name system, is an invaluable resource for anyone who has ever or will ever connect to any website on the internet. But having such an expansive system with so many users leaves it open for attackers to seek out and find any vulnerabilities it may have. And of course, they have found many ways to attack people and companies through DNS. One common type of DNS attack is DNS spoofing. In this type of attack, a hacker impersonates a real DNS server and tells filthy lies about a site's IP address to an actual DNS server. DNS servers like to spread gossip, whether it's true or baloney, so they tell all of their friends the juicy lies the hacker tells them. Soon, the rumor spreads to hundreds of servers. This type of attack is known as cash poisoning. It's a problem for society because a hacker can redirect all traffic looking for a bank's website, for example, to a fake website where the hacker can steal everyone's information. Even with modern patches and fixes, about 33% of DNS servers are spoofable. But it's not as easy as it sounds. When a client, which is in this case a victim DNS server, requests information from another DNS server, it sends along an ID number. If it receives a message back with the same ID number, it will know that the reply is legitimate and will accept the first reply that comes back with that ID number. That means the hacker has to squeeze in a reply faster than the real DNS server in order for the victim to accept his incorrect IP. If he can reply faster than the real DNS server, the victim will accept the hacker's ID and ignore the real DNS server's reply. But it's difficult to do all that work and still end up replying before a well-functioning DNS server, which is where DDoSing comes into play. DDoS, which stands for Distributed Denial of Service, is a type of attack where a hacker attempts to slow down or crash a server by overwhelming its resources or by hogging up all of its available bandwidth. There are two main ways to accomplish this through DNS. DNS flooding and DNS amplification. Let's start with DNS flooding. In this type of attack, a hacker gains control of hundreds or thousands of computers by using something like a virus and turns them into gargling zombies that can, at the hacker's command, spew unfathomable amounts of crap right at the victim DNS server, which hogs up all of its available bandwidth and renders it useless. DNS amplification is a bit more nuanced. In short, a hacker pretends to be a real DNS server and makes his source IP address the same as the IP of a victim DNS server. He then sends a buttload of requests to a bunch of servers, sometimes with a botnet, and all the servers he requests as the victim send the responses to the real DNS server, the target. This drains system resources as the victim server tries to accept all the responses it didn't really ask for. So DNS has been around for a long time, and if we want it to stay around for a lot longer, we need to stay ahead of the minds of those with the malicious intent and continue to improve our protocols.